Oliver Tambo's Timeline. Helping kids like me learn about Oliver Tambo's relentless fight against racism. By Lyle Hatchett, age 12. Born on the 27th of October 1917 in Cantolo, South Africa, he was named Kaizana after a German man who fought the British during World War I. He went to primary school where he was forced to change his name into an English name, so he changed it to Oliver. Oliver was given a chance to go to a better school as he showed so much enthusiasm for learning. His parents couldn't afford it, so he got sponsorship. Oliver excelled in his studies and five years later was accepted into St Peter's, a well-known school for black kids. Oliver wanted to study medicine, but no school would let him because he was black, so he studied science. Oliver met Walter Sisulu in Johannesburg, leader of the African National Congress, ANC. He also met Nelson Mandela. They made a plan to revive the ANC. Tambo was appointed secretary. In 1948, the National Party, NP, comes into power and a number of discriminatory laws were put in place against black people. To challenge what was happening, Oliver decided to study law. Oliver joined the same law practice as Nelson Mandela to help black people in their struggle against apartheid. In 1955, Oliver becomes engaged to Adelaide Tsukudu. In 1956, Oliver Tambo is arrested on charges of treason, which meant he nearly had to cancel his wedding. Luckily, he gets bail and the wedding goes ahead. In 1962, Nelson Mandela went to jail. While Tambo lives in exile in Harangay, London, he established ANC missions in Egypt, Ghana, Morocco and here in London. Tambo becomes a great voice for women's rights as well as black men's. In 1980, as president of the ANC, Tambo promoted his best friend, Nelson Mandela, as a symbol of freedom and re resistance to racism. In 1982, Tambo had a stroke, but did not stop fighting, leading to a more severe stroke in 1989. In 1990, Mandela is released from prison and Oliver Tambo returned to South Africa. Oliver spends his last final three years living with his sister in South Africa before dying of a fatal stroke in 1993. We salute you, Oliver Tambo.